growing up, Easter was always a really fun, um, a fun-filled family holiday. We used to get up, we would go to church, and then we would head out to my Aunt Cindy and Uncle Al's house for a giant Easter egg hunt. Um, we did it for as long as I can pretty much remember, but it was always this big to-do thing. And it was always made out that we always won prizes and stuff. And then somebody would always like tell a, a abbreviated thing of the Easter story and then we'd say a prayer. It was just what we did and I loved it. Like it was my childhood. And the older I get, the more I realize I love seeing kids on Easter be so excited. And it's about all the eggs and the prizes and all that stuff. But we also have to remember that this is also the weekend that Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins. And he did that because he loved us. And if you've ever watched the um, Passion of Christ, you will understand exactly what he went through. We have to remember that what he went through was much worse than that. That was what they could do on a Hollywood budget. And there's a book called The Case, the Case for Christ. And in that book... Um, there's a part of it that starts describing like what he went through on the cross and how each thing that happened to him was like medical. And I had a friend a few years ago who had read that book and he freaked out when he got to that part because um, it really hit him. It really touched him. It let him know that what happened could actually happen to a person. And so that like it gave him more confirmation that what happened on the cross and the things that happened to him was real. And there's another book called The Case for Faith. It's also really good. I highly recommend those two books and that movie. Um, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to reach out to anyone who has never seen those movies and read those books. I wanted to reach out and say, take this time to do that. Because the world is going to end one day. And heaven and hell are very real places. And I just hope that you end up on the right side when the time comes. And so I'm not trying to push my beliefs on anyone. I'm not trying to tell you that, oh, you have to be a Christian or anything like that. I'm just speaking from my heart and saying that That's what I believe. Um, I believe that Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins. And yes, I do consider myself a Christian. I also consider myself to be kind of liberal. So it's a fine line that I walk because I support things that some Christians wouldn't. But I do it out of love. Like, that's my thing. I'm not like this hardcore, Bible-thumping Christian person. It's not who I am. That's not how I was raised. That's not what I do. I am this person that honestly believes that love will change the world and that we need to show everyone we come in contact with unconditional love and we need to be more open to that concept and like there's a line in the Ed Sheeran song that says love will change the world Love can change the love could change the world, but what do I know? Um, it's something like that, and it really makes me think that if we all just loved each other, the world would be a completely different place. And so that's a task that I took on myself years ago, was to try to love people regardless of their beliefs, regardless of how they feel, regardless of anything, just show them unconditional love. And so I hope today of all days that you feel loved and that you know that there is someone out there that loves you and cares about you. And if you don't have anyone in your personal life that you know like that, then just remember that I do. And I know a lot of people say that and you probably don't believe them, but I truly do. I love and care about most people I come in contact with. I also get angry at a lot of people, but that's because I work at Walmart in a little bitty tiny redneck town, so. But just remember that love could change the world.
But what do I know?